Good morning to you. Good morning. My name is Mother Gail Trailer. It's 6.25 a.m. It's a Saturday. Hallelujah. God bless you. I hope you're well. Hope you're praying. Hope you're doing all you can to please our Savior. I know you're not a super saint. Neither am I. But with Christ, I can do all things. Through Christ who strengthens me. All things. Hallelujah to God. Are your eyes on him for today's journey? Are you going to trust him today? I am. I have to. Boy, oh boy. You notice something about this um, pandemic thingy? I, uh, I was looking on the internet and did you know that Italy is uh, locked down or they're, they're, certain areas are on quarantine if not the whole you know the whole jurisdiction but they were singing all of the people were in this complex and they were singing a song and I mean unity you notice that? It's bringing people together instead of separating us. They were singing. If, if, if nothing else works, the Lord knows what to do, doesn't he? And I thank God for Jesus because he's a God of love, a God of unity, a God of relationship. And I hope this morning that you have a relationship with him because he is the Savior. He is our way maker, our all in all, our everything. And without him, you can't make it. Not through these times. Mm -hmm. Every knee shall bow. Every knee. Just come in from a beautiful morning walk. And uh, the birds are out there thanking God. All the little creepy crawly things in the in the woods there. I heard them creeping and crawling. And I asked the Lord to bind the spirit of fear. Uh, Lord knows I don't want to meet a deer. You know, not face to face. They're kind of uh, rambunctious to say the least. But I heard him creeping, and I heard the little birds chirping. That let me know the Lord is still on the throne, and the earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof. And they have a right to praise God just like you and I do. Once again, it is Saturday. It is almost 6.30, about two minutes before 6.30, and it is March 14th. And spring is in the air. Okay? Spring is in the air. Hallelujah. Don't miss out on spring. Okay? Just because of uh, what you hear and what, what you are seeing, don't miss out. This is a beautiful time to be alive. An exciting time. An exciting time. We are going to learn how to... Draw an eye to him as never before. We are going to learn to go back to the basics. The basics. Trusting in him with our whole hearts. And not leaning to our own understanding. You've got to have faith to walk this walk, children. You've got to have faith. I'm Mother Gail Trailer, And uh, I'm going to pray. And I'm going to leave some scripture with you and I so that we can remember it through today's toil. I've got to go down the road of peace. Maybe you do too. Or maybe this is your day off. But uh, whatever you're doing on this Saturday, 
you make sure you take the Lord with you. Come on, let's pray. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, first of all, we ask you to forgive us, please, for all unrighteousness. Create in us clean hearts, renew a right spirit. Help us today, Lord Jesus, to overcome, Lord, to overcome by that blood that you shed for us. And we overcome by your blood and by the word of our testimony. Lord, we exalt you today and we lift you up today. Nothing else. No one is greater than you. Nothing is greater. You created all. You are in all and everywhere. Knowing all things, omnipotent, omnipresent. We thank you, Father God, for what you've done so far, keeping us in the hollow of your hands, for blessing our families, our grandbabies, our children, taking them through as they are. Father God, learning to lean on you as well. We know, Father God, that. Uh, when we train up a child in the way that they should go. Lord, when they're older, when they realize how precious you are and how minute they are and how they need you, Lord Jesus, when they're older. They need you when you're, they're young too, but we need you more when we're older because we realize if it were not for you, we could not make it. So thank you for keeping our children and our children's children, our neighbors, our friends, our frenemies. Thank you for keeping our pastors, Lord. Take them through. Find fear. Fear hath torment. And fear doesn't come from you. We ask you, Lord Jesus, to deliver us from evil. Lord, cover us with your precious blood. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for keeping even our President of the United States and his cabinet. Lord, those who are heads of states, governors, mayors, councilmen everywhere, Lord, let your blood prevail today as you work, as you move, as you hover over all of us not by our might, it's not by our power, but it's by your spirit, thus saith the Lord. So thank you. Use us today. Use us. Give us wisdom. Show us what to do, what to say, where to go, and how long to stay. We thank you, Father God, for your protection and the angels you encamped about us during the night hours. Thank you, Father God, for the love and the uh, most of all, glory to God for your constant agape love that you shed abroad in our hearts. Help us to give your name the glory. In Jesus' name we ask these and all other blessings. Amen. You know, he's able to do immeasurably more than whatever I can say. Whatever I can ask or think. We're going to read the word. We're going to ask the Lord to help us to understand what we're reading and to lean on this word all day long. And it will be coming from the book of Ephesians, the sixth chapter, the 17th through the 19th verse. If you have it and you can look on, please do. If you can't, faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. So, just listen. So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Hallelujah. Paul has a way of putting things, doesn't he? And it's beautiful. It's not only 
poetic. It's, it's just, it's deep. He's telling us to, to, to meditate on how much, how great, how limitless our God is. Because he's placed himself, his Holy Spirit, which is part of the Godhead, he placed himself in us. And he's dwelling in our hearts through faith. You remember that day you asked him to forgive you of sin and to come in and, and make his abode with you? He did just that. He kept his word. And he's in us, Christ in us, the hope of glory. And by faith, we trust him that he will establish us and ground us in the faith. We're rooted and established in love. Hallelujah. I remember that day. It was an Easter Sunday that I asked the Lord to come into my heart. And they told me to repent, to, to ask the Lord to forgive me of sin. And I did. And with all of my heart, all of my mind, all of my very being, I asked him to please forgive me. And, and I meant what I said. And he knew I meant what I said. And then I began to tell him about all my troubles. And he, I could feel him loving me. You know, it was as if to say, yes, darling. You know, like a baby. You p put a baby on your shoulder and you pat that baby. It's okay, darling. You know, that's the feeling I got from uh, when I prayed. It's okay. I love you. I understand. And he does understand. He knows all about us. He knew us from before we were born. He knew that we would be here this 14th day of March. He knew that we would need his strength and his courage. We would need his guidance. We would need his blessings. The blessings that only he could give through love. I've never stopped feeling God's love since that day. I've never stopped seeing God's love. And that's the love that we are told to uh, pray and to be rooted and established in. Okay, I'm going to read it from the King James Version. It sounds a little different from the, um, I think it's New American Standard. But uh, Ephesians 3, 17 to 19 says, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God, that now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages in him hallelujah you better thank God today I better thank God today for his love he knows what to do how to do it, when to do it He's not haphazard. He doesn't make mistakes. This is the 14th day of March. And his love is abounding. Hallelujah. I heard uh, young pastor um, Brandon say that we hear the bad news. We hear all the 
the ugly things that are hap that's happening in the world. We hear of the the, the uh, catastrophes and the natural disasters. We hear of the wrath of man and the wars and rumors of wars. But do you not know that there are thousands and hundreds of thousands and millions of people that are being witnessed to and saved every day? He was telling us about uh, is it Japan or Korea or whatever? One third of them at one time, when you went to uh, this country, I think it was Korea, there was one third of them saved. You know, one third of them believed God. And, and you know, they, they, with that communism and stuff, they did not want Christianity. But do you not, do you know that now they send more missionaries out to other countries than any country on the face of the earth. Isn't that something? God is God. He's almighty. He doesn't pay attention to our doubts and our fears and our trivial complaints and our, our little, what would you say, our rebelliousness against him. He's almighty. And his love doesn't stop because we don't believe and we want to have our way like bad children. He's still somewhere patting some young girl, some young boy, or some man or woman and telling them, it's okay. I love you. Come to me. Oh, I tell you, he's a mighty God. And we are to continue to share his grace and his goodness with each other throughout the day. And trust in him and love him. And if you stumble along the way, and let's say you just accidentally convert back to that old way of thinking, I won't forgive. I won't forget. I just can't. Remember, you no longer belong to yourself, okay? You're a servant of God. He is within you. He's the hope of glory, and he's able to do immeasurably more than whatever we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. So let that power work in you. As you grow in Christ, you'll begin to hear his still small voice and he'll tell you which way to go. You'll hear it within and sometimes you'll hear it outside through other people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember. I was in the uh, car driving just this week. And um, I heard of uh, uh, someone speaking about forgiveness and then I saw a message on my cell phone from someone I had befriended and they really really uh, you know they hurt I got hurt by uh, uh, you know when you love somebody you get hurt that's love and hurt go together don't it well the person said, can we talk? I think three, three uh, words. And I began to, that, that pride came up in me and I said, oh, oh, the nerve. But obedience to the one who said to me, it's okay. Hallelujah. The one who picked me up out of the muck and the mire, the one who turned me around, the one who washed me clean and established my going, the one that keeps me from day to day. Hmm? 
and I should not obey? Yes, I've got to. I owe him so much more than I could ever pay. He's done more for me than I could fathom. So Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, it says. And you'll be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height. Hmm. And to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge. Do you think you'll ever be able to know the length and the breadth and the height of how God, how powerful God is? I don't think we will ever. We just can't do it, not with these finite minds. But you can believe that there are saints of God that he's bestowing his love upon. And you can relate to his greatness through the littlest things. He's awesome, y'all. He's awesome. And there's a power that worketh in you to do immeasurably more than whatever we ask or think. Keep him in your mind. Keep him on your tongue. Worship him today. Praise him. Thank him. Take time out and spend time meditating upon his goodness. He's almighty. He's great and all things work together for the good. Mm -hmm. Even the, the virus. Mm -hmm. Got Italy singing together. We're no longer fighting about the color of a man's skin. Hmm? Too busy. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. My name is Mother Gail Trill. And I'm just passing through.